hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is coming from um, Ishakiri Nation. We know um, recently the uh, um, Ishakiri Nation gave um, details of what is going on. They officially announced the passing of the um, Olu, um, the person of Ogiame Ikinwanli. However, we know that um, the Olu passed on since December, but um, when the report came out that he passed on, they, they debunked it and called it false. But they gave their reasons um, recently that um, they had to follow some traditions. They don't just um, come out with the announcement like that. So they've officially made it known that the Olu has passed on. And they also uh, made announcement of the Olu designate. A lot of crisis has um, thrown that announcement uh, uh, with the person being Teshola and Miko. Some of the chiefs kicking against it that due process was not followed. And we know that uh, immediately after the, the barrier of the um, Ogiame, the late um, Ogiame Ekinwonli, then um, the palace cannot be vacant. They are looking forward to crown um, Teshola Emiko. But uh, without the crown, I don't know how that will look. We heard the reports that um, the crown was missing right now. Serious anxiety is rising in the Shekiri land over the whereabouts of the Ulu's crown, who must have moved the crown. And that crown has been... Um, uh, uh has been used by various um olus this same crown has been the same one that has been used um over um uh, over years over a long period of time and right now the crown is missing causing serious anxiety panic because uh it's not long to go from now from after the barrier we'll have all of those details guys before we bring them to you please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again Barely a week after being doused by the Delta State Police Command, tension and anxiety are rising again in Shekiri land over the Olu of Waris crown. The crisis rocking the ethnic nationality over the recent announcement of the passage of Ogiame, Ikinwali, and the selection of Prince Teshola Emiko as the Olu designate is reaching a boiling point. Some of the Shekiri nobles and chiefs have vowed that the alleged illegality committed in the process of the emergence of the new Olu designate can never be allowed to stand, not when they are alive. A new dimension to the crisis is that the Shekiri abroad are now being dragged into the Imbreligo by various factions to take sides on Saturday, April 17, 2021. From noon to 5.30 p.m. Nigerian time, a meeting via Zoom was held with the Shekiri people in the United Kingdom by one of the chiefs who is at the center of the crisis. During the meeting, the chief struggled very hard to explain the rationale behind the action he had so far taken that threw the Ishekiri nation into turmoil. The most senior Ishekiri chief in the UK was allegedly excluded because of his uncompromising stand on the matter. The chief in the eye of the storm was said to have struggled throughout the meeting to appease the Ishekiri in the UK he kept on appealing to the Shekiri in diaspora to cooperate with him to save their traditional institution from humiliation. As the crisis raged, the power mongers among the chiefs accused the others in the Wari Council of chiefsly of unnecessary outbursts and leaking of vital information from the palace to the media, especially Palace Watch. They are presently doing everything within their powers to cow the chiefs who disagree with them. In a meeting fixed for Wednesday, April 28, 2021 in Worry, a range of issues will be discussed, which include the allegations of information leakage and outburst. To this effect, formal letters of invitation from the Palace of the Olu of Worry, signed by a lady, have been dispatched to the chiefs accused of the aforementioned infractions. In the planned meeting, some of the nobles and chiefs accused of wrongdoing and information leakage and unnecessary outbursts will be subjected to the code of conduct allegedly drawn up for the Council of Chiefs by the immediate past Olu, the late Ogiame Ekinwanli. 
with everything going on right now um it shows that uh, the majority of the chiefs have not um, accepted the um, person of Teshola and Miko they've not unanimously accepted it because they are still stating that uh, due process was not follow followed we know it was a um, a mommy, the person of Ayeri, the Ologosheri of the Shakiri Kingdom, who initially um kicked against um the uh um the selection in the person of um, Teshola and Miko, that due process was not followed, that things are not just done like that. And in his um, own opinion, he stated that um in the first place that the um Ogiame has to be buried first. Ogiame Kiwanli has to be buried first before they can start talking about that's the way he saw it. And he was reading the Code of Conduct Act, their their own uh, uh, um, constitution, put it that way, of the Shekiri Kingdom and how things are meant to be done. That so far, looking at everything, things have not been done that way. And he stated that these are the same people who are screaming that the, the, there is corruption everywhere, the country is not working, the nation is not working. And he can see them playing politics to him. He feels that all of this is politics. They are all playing politics. That um, things have not been done properly. Let's not forget that um, the crown is still missing. The crown is still missing. And uh, amidst that um, tension about the missing crown, other issues rising as well is that um, they have some sabotage in their midst. They feel that um, um, some of the chiefs are giving out information to the press. You know, with their traditions, normally the way they do things is that they don't like um, things to go out of the palace. A couple of days ago, Delta State government spoke um, regarding um, the Shakiri Nation, what is going on, this controversy, the crisis um, regarding the emergence of um, Teshola as the loose death signet. And they decided not to interfere, not to speak, not to say anything. The reason they gave was that they were not officially notified. They don't know and they've stated that uh, normally the way things are done in the past if any of such happen they should get a notification a statement from the palace to the government house to the governor to inform the governor of anything so they have a process they have the way things are done but right now these um, chiefs are stating that um, information are just are leaking they're just going out i believe that part of it is this crown that is even missing most probably maybe they don't want the public to know that um, the the crown is missing well we'll see how um all of this plays out uh, but finally we know at the end of the day yesterday the palace chiefs they visited the um, um, government house in asaba uh informed the governor officially and the governor from the governor's um speech he gave his um, support to teshola we can see that he's in support of teshola but i don't know if that will eventually uh uh, um, help him emerge or calm or douse down the whole tension that everyone would just uh, settle for Teshola and put away all of um, their concerns or any grievance, whatever they have. Well, my people, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So, like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.